Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a Thursday show. We have four bands tonight, headlined by Lynch Mob and the legendary George Lynch. We have Cher the Burden, who is providing uh, backline for Lynch Mob. We have Alter Ego, and my guys in Mainline are opening the show. I fucking love this band. They were on the vlog before, and they are a fantastic band. We just sound checked Mainline, we're all set. If we check my scenes here, we have Share the Burden sound checked, as well as Lynch Mob. So we are all set, ready to go tonight. Let me give you a tour of the stage before we go to the show. So the good news about this stage layout tonight, this drum set up here, it's a beautiful drum set by the way. Share the Burden is literally sharing the burden, no pun intended, with Lynch Mob. Um, I have my Tom makes up here, and they are not striking, but that's okay. The stage is actually not that crowded tonight. So Share the Burden and Lynch Mob are using this drum set, and we got my house set up here. It's a good thing I kept my uh, EVPL35s here because they are providing much use for the snare and the toms. So I'm very happy that we are going to at least be able to mic up the whole drum set up here. Normally on a very crowded stage like this, I would just mic up the kick and snare, but for the stream I want to get the toms in as well. Let's work our way back over here. Here is George Lynch's rig. So as you can see, he's got two amp setups right here. We got uh, this Marshall over here, and then we got a um, power. Uh, I can't. I can't read tonight. Fryet power station. Um, these are his two amps that are being split between a very dry signal and a very wet signal. We have their own guitar mics too up here. We have Sennheiser uh, E906s that are providing the sound for uh, Mr. Lynch. And I gotta get me some of these because I've used enough of these mics to know how fucking good they sound. And man, these mics are just so good. They sound so amazing in here. Way better than an SM57. But here's mainline setup. Their second guitar player has a uh, Black Star amp going right into our Tech 21 with a 57. Lead vocalist and guitar player is using this uh, Marshall uh, combo amp. This sounds great. Very good with stage volume up here. Everything sounds good. And Jaren of uh, Lynch Mob is kind enough to let us use one of his bass cabs tonight so we can save space. My house bass cab is all back there. Uh, he is using both of these cabs tonight and we are miking the bass cab tonight. When you're gonna mic up a bass cab, this is really the only option. So this is the stage layout. Everything looks really good. There's really nothing complicated about tonight's setup, guys. Everyone's using our wedges. Everyone's using uh, just a straight up drums, amps, and microphones. No backing tracks of any sort tonight, so Eddie Trunk, if you're watching, you'll be enjoying the show tonight. So, with that being said, I'm also going to be monitoring the Packers game tonight because yesterday being my birthday, oh, by the way, Yesterday was my birthday, and thank you guys very much who left a happy birthday comment in the comment section, and who reached out to me on DMs. So, thank you, that was very kind. Last night I had dinner with my mother and stepfather. Tonight I was supposed to meet up with my dad and stepmother. We were gonna go to a bar and watch the Packers game, but the guy who was supposed to work this show tonight got COVID. So, here I am, to quote Dante Hicks, I'm not even supposed to be here today. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right there, there are my room mics. Those are Behringer C2s, and as you can see, they shine up in the middle of the floor. They mostly pick up overheads, so you're going to hear mostly overheads tonight with those. So I guess with that being said, guys, we are all set up. Let's go to the show. Well, we are mainline. You guys ready? We got a lot of room up here. If everyone could come up. And let's do this. This is Out of the Shadows. Running, looking to score. 
dancing of that thought But not enough to count Get all the shining by Which we can't escape The stone above us all The shovel never fades
All right, guys, we are all done here. I reset the stage back to its original state, and I'm about to put these mic cables back where they belong and get out of here. There was a guy in the chat room last night with the first name Taco, and I just want tacos now. And there's a Taco Bell like literally 10 minutes down the road from here. So I'm craving Taco Bell. So shout out to that guy, and also fuck you for having the same name as the best food in the world. All right, guys. So, yeah, that show was awesome. <laughs> that show was uh, literally the reason why I love doing this. Like, all the bands kicked so much ass. I was so happy. I'm just, I'm just grateful that I was able to come in tonight because originally, when I got my September schedule, I originally was not working this show. And I was bummed that I wasn't working this show because first off, I mean, George Lynch, I mean, to just do sound for him, that's awesome. But shout outs to the opening band tonight, Mainline. I love those guys. They've done sets here a couple times and they're just a really, really good band. I was so happy with them and it was good to see them again. Um, it's just shows like this are, I wish every show I work here can be this good. Everything was perfect tonight. Um, what else I gotta do here? Oh, I gotta unplug this. The guy who was supposed to be here, his name is Russ. Everybody send some love to Russ because I believe everybody send some love to Russ because he got the Rona and he could not work tonight. He was uh, bedridden all day and he just feels like absolute dog shit. Thoughts and best wishes for a speedy recovery to Russ. I was upset that I was not originally scheduled this show, but I'm glad that I ended up working it anyway. I got called in at the very last minute, guys. And uh, it sucked to hear that Russ got COVID, but I'm glad that I was able to come and work this show because I really wanted to work this show. So this is gonna be a very fun vlog to edit. Um, those of you who watch the stream, and by the way, I'm realizing very quickly that I have a different audience for the live streams versus the vlogs that you guys watch here. So if you're watching the vlogs and you haven't checked out my live streams yet, go check out my live streams. And if you watch my live streams, well, you're probably not watching this vlog anyway, but the point is, um, I have a different audience with the vlogs versus the streams, and it's interesting to see how everyone watches my videos, and I mean, that's a good thing that I have, you know, a reach like that to, you know, there's something for everybody, but... Again, thank you so much, man. Always a pleasure, yeah. and even pleasure. better this time. Um, Safe travels back home to the next gig, man. Always absolutely. a pleasure. Yeah. Um, Jaron, the bass player for Lynch Mob, he was also in Tantric. Tantric was here a couple times, and I remember Jaron and Sebastian Bach being the two best musicians in that band, but that's just my personal opinion. Jaron is a phenomenal bass player. Like, he's a guy that brings the energy, uh, plays his instrument with passion and energy, and excellent backup vocals. Like, he's a legit great performer. Um, and this is one of the first shows that a lot of people in the audience came to me afterward and said the sound was great. So, um, I call this a win. And I think on this note, guys, the owner's still here, so I'll keep the music going a little bit longer, but I think this is where this video ends. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next one, and thanks for watching as always. Peace.